Okay, we're about to show you this uh, most accurate clock boot up sequence here. I'll turn on the power. And I had it on earlier, so maybe it'll be faster to lock this time. But see, it's got data on 10 megahertz. I have it hooked to a 40 meter dipole. So what it's doing is it's checking the three frequency ranges. And this takes a while. This process takes minutes to go through. And once it's locked, though, it's really cool. It actually displays hundredths of a second. Uh, but it's got a signal right now. I, this antenna here does not work where I live. It's not enough. As you can see, I'm plugging into the external antenna. See? It's got W. It's picking up a signal. Awesome. Let's give it another 40 seconds here. Yeah, you should should not the time on that. Okay, still didn't sync up yet. Eventually it'll catch and I'll display it when it uh, actually uh, synchronizes. Here we go, we've got the Heathkit Most Accurate Clock GC1000 locked on to uh, WWV and down to the hundredth of a second. This is so cool. And it's actually right on local time. Sorry, my camera is wiggling all over the place. But uh, I actually have this um, connected to an external dipole here. I, I use dipoles. This is a 20 meter dipole I've plugged in. Uh, oh, look at 3.6 megahertz output. And what's this? Well, there you go. So cool. Oops. This is definitely the coolest clock uh, I've ever seen. And so I've got this one going. And of course I've got this GPS clock that I made going. And then GPS clock to sync to the um, self-lining clock company clock. I've actually dated this clock. It is from uh, somewhere between 1913 and early 30s. So this one's definitely around 100 years old, uh, as expected. So that's synced to this guy. And of course, this one's running uh, independently off WWG. Nice. Look at that. No problem whatsoever. Accurately know the time, all the time.